What's up, y'all? I'm coming at you with a uh, another video. Um, I'm gonna be doing this video. This is just gonna be a uh, for y'all. This is just gonna be a summer collection update. Now, I've never done a full Zippo collection video. I'll probably do that by the end of this year or something. Do a whole collection thing just just for the hell of it. But anyway, um, I'm gonna be doing a summer update because I have gotten a total. As you can see, I've gotten a total. Of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Zippos total, as you can see. And uh, I know the lighting sucks ass, but you know, whatever. I can't do anything about the lighting. I've tried several times and I can't really do anything, so whatever. And there's not really a better place that I can film this without people constantly talking and you know, walking around and crap and getting in the way and stuff. So, anyway, I'll be going down. The line here of Zippos, and then I'll give you one shot at the end of all the Zippos with their boxes open and everything so you can see all the Zippos. Now, actually, y'all don't know, but uh, I actually went on a break from collecting Zippos for about a year, and that was just because I got a car. I got a uh, 1965 Chrysler two door coupe with these special taillights, but I'm not going to go into the taillights and explaining everything because I used to do that. A long time ago in my older videos, I used to go into explaining da 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 going off. So I'm not going to do that this time, but I'll, I'll do a separate video for that. But uh, we're going to get into some of the Zippos. This first one is, of course, what got me back into collecting Zippos. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, I quit collecting Zippos for a while. I didn't quit forever, but I quit for a while and quit making YouTube videos for a while. And I decided to come back and make videos again. So this is the first one, it's just the American Eagle. They changed it from American, high polished chrome American Eagle. As you can see, this this was a user, or still is, so I'm just not using it at the current time because I have a, a dope Zippo that I am using currently. That is a collectible Zippo, but it was already opened, it had the seal taken off, so I was just going to use it anyway. So, as you can see, this was made in F of 17, now for some freaking reason, I always wind up with freaking Zippos that have uh, matching inserts. Now, that's not the case for, I think, what is it? This one has matching. This one has matching. Hold on. This one does not have matching. I don't think this one has matching. This one doesn't, but this one does. And I don't know about that one. So, that's one, two, three. So, three out of all of these have matching inserts and I have a call, uh, at least three more Zippos that have matching inserts so I have a ton of freaking Zippos that have matching inserts for some reason I have no idea but I get this to focus in the light as you can see this is made in F of 17 as well this is um this has been a user now I've been using it I was using it for probably about a month like I said I a lot of these are users but a lot of them I've been bouncing around over the summer from which user I haven't stuck with one until recently now. I'm going to be sticking with it for a while because I like this, the last one, my most recent one, which is courtesy of Owen Dowell. Um, I like that one the most out of all of these. So anyway, there's that one. Both made an F of uh, 17, which is January, February, March, April, May, June. I think it's either June or July. Wait. A, B, C, D, E, F. Yeah, that would be June. Um, <clears throat> anyway, on to the next Zippo. Now, this one I had gotten back in 2015 when it was brand new. But I thought I'd just make a video added in here because I went on a trip. These next two I got actually got at the trip at Zippo themselves. But I took this Zippo and I actually got to uh, watch them fix it themselves. So, uh, yeah, this, um, this camera... The lighting sucks, but oh well, I'm just gonna have to deal with it, unfortunately. But, um, anyway, y'all, this is the uh, this was made in C of 15, as you can see there. I'll just have to, you know, angle it. I had to do the same thing at my other grandparents' house, I had to angle it in such a way that it would, uh, focus good. Now, I don't know if this has fuel in it, I was using this for a while, but I've just Oh wow, look at that. Yeah, apparently it doesn't want to light. So, it has fuel. And it's still, surprisingly, I'm surprised it's even lighting. But, uh, 
Yeah, that's that anyway, but the insert is also made in a uh, little warm. Not hot, but just warm. Uh, as you can tell, it was also made in CF-15. On those stampings there. So, uh, yet another Zippo. And what was wrong is, is I had dropped this. I don't remember. It was either on the parkway when I was with my cousins, or I think it was with Owen while we were eating at Pepper's. Yeah, that's when it was. The... Um, candy apple red zippo which i have with me um which actually i'm gonna grab that real quick to show you what they did for that just real quick um here we go anyway what was wrong with this is i both dropped these and broke them the same around the same time in the summer this uh they just replaced the hinge i don't know if you can see that through there you probably can't no, of course you're not going to be able to see shit through that. Anyway, uh, this is the one. I got this just after my trip to Hawaii that I took. I took a trip to Hawaii. I went, um, wait, did I just screw up the lids? Oh, well, probably did. Um, anyway, I took a trip to Hawaii, and uh, I have a Hawaii Zippo that I had gotten. But um, anyway, that's yeah, totally off the subject anyway. Never mind. Uh, this one was actually made a year later. This insert that I got back, this was made a year later, um, after this Zippo, which is kind of funny, I think, exactly one year. Um, this is a perfectly good insert. Now, there's another lighter, my, uh, Bra Antique Brass Zippo that I think would look really cool with this. I don't think I'm going to put it in there just because I want to keep this one nice until I need it. But, you know, it's, so it'll just be there, you know, when I need it. If this... This this lighting sucks majorly. I don't know what's wrong with it now, but you can't really even see that too well. Yeah, unfortunately, that's about as good as you can get. You can kind of see the C right there. Unfortunately, uh, this lighting sucks, and there's nowhere in this freaking house that has good lighting, So, which is why I don't make many videos here, because the lighting isn't that great for videos, but whatever. Um, yeah, I think these are the... Uh, Original, are they? Um, I don't know. I'll keep these ones off to the side. I'll put this one here, but I have to take these two off to the side afterwards and figure out which goes to which. All right, next Zippo. This Zippo I'm not going to use. Um, this Zippo is just, um, I haven't even opened it because I'm never going to use it. So this Zippo is purely for collectible purposes only. This is the where I went. I went to the Zippo case museum and um i went there i visited they had some amazing i really like their world war ii zippos and some of their vietnam but you got to see some of the first zippo lighters how they got were inspired to make come up with the zippo what inspired uh george g blaisdell blaisdell is his name i don't know it's george something blaisdell i think it's george g blaisdell but anyway this was made in i of 16 so mid to late last year as you can see yeah you can see that so um this was made mid to late last year um and i'm not gonna open it i don't think i ever will open this one i'm just gonna purely keep it like it is just so i can have you know i wanted to have one with the where i went on it so oh here i keep forgetting to leave them open because i'm only leaving them open for y'all anyway this next one I got because I really liked how the um, World War II Black Crackle Zippos look. This is a uh, 1941 replica Black Crackle. I did a video on it that's way too damn long for what I was talking about in the video. Now this one was made in K. The insert was made in K of 16. And as you can tell, I keep a flint in it. it it's not going to light, but... Uh, yeah, it's actually, yeah, it actually has a pretty tight insert, but it has, um, I think it's a G, yep. It was made in G of, maybe if I come really, really close. Nope, that just screwed it up even more. Um, yeah, I don't know. Come on, focus, there we go. As you can see, that little thing right there is a G, and then 16. Yeah, unfortunately, like I said. Lighting sucks, but I can't do anything about it, so... Anyway, I will make another um, Zippo Collection update video by the end of this year, because I will have 
more Zippos. I want to get the Zippo Hidden Dragon. That's a really nice one. Now this one has a bit of a story. It is filled, but I don't think it's filled. But yeah, it is filled. Um, as you can tell, so one, two, three, four. Four of these are filled. These two I'm not using anymore at the time being, but I will be. As you can see, it has my nickname, and it says Hellraiser on it, and then it has a date. Now this is a date, very special, well, more like crazy, crazy and special party that I... <laughs> <laughs> that I wound up at and I didn't even know at the time like I said that's a story but I originally said that I would do maybe potentially a story video around this Zippo and around that party but I don't know if that's a good idea currently I may make that a little later I don't know but this was made in E of 17 so A, B, C, D, E, January, February, March, April, May so May of this year and the insert was made in damn it, D of this year. So this is a, uh, there, there we go. That's, that's a lot, actually a lot better of a view of the, the date. So that's this, like I said, it's, it's barely full. Uh, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised if I couldn't light this tomorrow. Cause, uh, this Zippo is, um, running out of fuel. All of them are, well, except for the, these two, cause these are more recent. Um, this next one, which I'm really, this is actually an update because I really am happy how this antique finish is turning out. Like, a, again, the, such high quality lighting in this uh, where I'm recording, you know, it's amazing. But you can see where it's starting to, where you scratch it, it'll start to turn brown on this copper. And it has a sticker that says antique copper on the face of the thing, of the uh, box. But, um,. Oh, this one may not light. Yeah, this one's running out of fuel. Um, the insert for this, though, it, this one was made in D of 17, but the insert was also made in D of 17, and it's a, actually a very tight-fitting insert, which I'm happy about. I really um, am glad that I can get, I wind up with um, matching inserts, a lot of them. Like, almost half my collection have matching inserts somehow. But, as you can see, D of this year, which is the same as the insert for my Jack Daniels Zippo. But, uh, I really like this. Again, a lot of these I will be using again. Actually, all the ones that I've been currently using, or have been, have used throughout the summer, I will be using again. And then next is my favorite. Now, this one is now my second oldest Zippo to my truly first Zippo. I made a video a long time ago, like two, three, something like that, two and a half years ago titled my first Zippo that I was wrong I originally got my grandfather's Vietnam Zippo uh, when I was around six and I left it outside I didn't leave it in the grass I didn't ever lose it I just left it in a cigar box that my dad had given me with some things in there to play with and that was in there and uh, I had left it outside you know doo -doo 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 -doo. I was only five or something and started playing with some other stuff and uh, forgot but this is my uh, 1992 camel Zippo now this one I really, really, really like. I really like the Zippo because, one, my uncle had one like this. He got it around the same time that this was made. He probably had one that was the same exact year, except his. I would have much preferred to have his because it's uh, sentimental. Because he had several Zippos when he was a uh, back when he was uh, my age and slightly older because he started smoking, I believe, uh, when he was 18, 19, somewhere around there. I believe I may be wrong, probably earlier, but I don't know. I'm not going to assume shit. I don't know. But the only reason why I know, as you can tell, some things I noticed, this does have, that is a V. You can barely tell. It looks more like an X, but I, I promise that's a, I don't know if I can get a better angle. I really want you to be able to see that V, because that is a V. It just have a, has a line under it. There we go. That's, that is a V. And an A. So January of 1992, and the only reason why I know it was 1992 is because when I got this, which Owen gladly uh, got this for me, which um, I, again, I thank you, Owen, if you watch this video, which I don't know if you will or not. Probably will, probably won't. Who knows? Anyway, uh, if you're watching us, thank you. I want to say thank you again for getting this Zippo, and like I said before in other videos, I will be repaying Owen for this for this Zippo because at the time I didn't have a paycheck because I spent it all because I am I wasted it on other Zippos and other stuff 
like that, but I didn't waste it all on for nothing. It was worth it. But um, anyway, so this was made in January of 1992. The insert was made in March. And on these older 1990 Zippos, as you can tell, they don't have the little pressed out, like on this here. Look at that right there. They don't have that. But this was made, it says Made in Zippo USA, and there's a C. There we go. You can actually see this better than at my Nana and Papa's house. There's a C on there. So these, uh, this one was made in C. The insert was made in C. And the, uh, which was March, and the Z case was made in January. Now this is one of my, like I said, one of my favorite Zippos. Um, I really enjoy this Zippo. Um, as you can see, I've been playing with it nonstop. That's why the, the insert has already started to change color and it has a crap ton of soot in there like you can't even see inside the lid anymore. Now inside of here is flawless. I mean look I mean for its age, I know you can't see crap in there, but it's extremely clean. There's one spot of it's not corrosion, but it's just more tarnish, but um that that didn't really bother bother me. That didn't even really matter. Like I said, it came like this. It was it was new Open but unused, which I'm okay with buying a Zippo as long as it hasn't been, you know, it's not used. And but as long as it, because the only ones that I don't like that have not been used are the ones that have not been used. But you know, someone like me or I don't know who thought they were gonna have it in their collection for the rest of their life was flipping it a bunch and then wound up selling it later on. And then it has that. You know, I mean, it's new, but it has that you know wear mark. And the only wear mark I saw was one line. And, there was a couple surface scratches and stuff from where I'm sure someone was, you know, piddling with the, with the Zippo. But I really don't care because my plan, I think, originally was to use this at some point. I mean, I was thinking about it at the time. I was thinking yes, no, maybe so. At some point, I want to get a uh, Zippo display case. Here's my ghetto. Yeah, this is a ghetto uh, uh, tripod. It's not really a tripod, but... I'll show y'all a quick view of all the Zippos together. And, yeah, I'm really unsatisfied with this quality of this crappy lighting, but I will show you all my Zippos. That one I got, this one, I technically got in 2015, but then I broke it and then waited two years to have it fixed. This one, not going to use. This one, all of these, I've, the rest of them I've used, and this one... I am still using right now. Also, one thing I would like to throw in, there's a little bit of an off spin. It still has to do with Zippo, but I got... If I can, if I can hold shit today. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, I got this. I have no idea if anyone could tell me in the comments uh, what freaking era this is from. I don't know. It has the modern um, uh, writing on it so it's not like from like the 70s or anything my guess would be 80s 90s or early 2000s i don't know if this was for like foreign countries or something had this kind of can my guess would be 80s or 90s like early 90s except on here i'll show you real quick i know this, this video is getting long but uh on this from my 1992 camel this is what the freaking uh actually yeah this would be from probably the 90s at some point because i saw a picture one picture on uh, Google that they happened to have of this had this, then they had this style can as well. So that that would be my guess, probably 80s or 90s, probably 90s. That would be my guess. But anyway, that's, I guess, going to wrap it up. I don't really have anything else to bore you with, bore you to an, an end with. Uh, that's about it. Um, and I guess I'll see you all later. Um, actually, one more. Yeah, whenever my Zippos get here, which who knows when they'll get here. But uh, I'll also be making a car video at some point on my car. But uh, I'll see y'all later.